spawned from parents who played college football and track, it seemed Mark Benton was destined for greatness in both sports. But his athletic range spread further than just those two sports, as he enjoyed competitive BMX riding, snowboarding, and he even lettered on the MHS Varsity Boys swim team twice, helping them capture the district championship as a sophomore in 2000. That year, he also earned a starting spot on the varsity football team, filling in at the slot, receiver, corner, and kicker positions. His experience playing on various traveling soccer clubs as a child showed through, as he was selected onto the all-conference first team as the place kicker. I'm not so sure he doesn't have the record for field for a field goal. Coach Rutschman, who was up in the box, Donnie Rutschman was up in the box, and he was saying field goal. And I'm kind of going field goal, you know, you look at the balls on the 34, so you do the calculation, and it's about a 51, 52 yard field goal. So I call Mark over and I go, Mark, what do you think about a field goal? Most kickers, you know, they're gonna go, yeah, I can make it, I can make it, you know, and Mark's so reserved and, you know, he kind of says, coach, whatever you want to do. But he had that smile on his face, like you really want to try it. Sure enough, it went right down the middle, and it was a 51 yard field goal, and it kind of made it probably from 55, and still a school record. He was again chosen onto the first team as the defensive corner and wide receiver in his second season, and was rewarded by the Grizzlies by being voted their junior MVP. He averaged over 17 yards per reception and led the conference in total receiving yards with 546, but unfortunately the Bears 4-5 and five record kept them out of playoff contention for the 30th straight year. As a senior, he really blossomed in football. He became a running back to where he could touch the ball 25 times a game instead of five. Mark is a great leader. Mark spent a ton of time in the weight room kind of getting ready for that spot. And I think what happened is that a lot of people followed him. I think a lot of our younger guys kind of saw that. He had such great natural talent, he really didn't need to work hard. But he's one of those guys that just got in there and just got bigger, faster, and stronger, and got better, and better, and better. And he's another guy that was explosive, that would turn a five yard gain into a touchdown. He could make people miss, and he was great with yards after carry. You know, he would get hit and he would take more than one person to bring him down. I mean, in my years at McMinnville, one of the top running backs that I've seen there in my 24, 25 years at Mack High, let alone over my career. He led the conference in total rushing yards all season with 1,400, while earning an all-conference first-team selection for all three positions, as well as earning the Grizzlies Work Ethic of the Year and Team MVP awards. He led the Bears to a winning season and into the state playoffs for the first time in three decades. For doing so, he was chosen onto the All News Register first team for offense and defense, as the conference's player of the year for offense, and as the starting tailback in the All-State All-Star Shrine Game. StudentSports.com named him their West Regional Athlete of the Week, and the National Football Foundation and College Hall of Fame honored Mark as a Scholar Athlete Award winner to end a historic football career. A couple of good friends that were coaches, one at Portland State and another one in Hawaii that were recruiting him, him heavily for football. He's definitely one of the top all-around athletes to come out of Minville High School. As great as he was on the field, he was even better on the track. He lettered on varsity in several different individual and relay running events, was named team captain, MHS's top-rated male athlete, and competed in the state tournament all four years. He was voted three times as Mack High's Male Athlete MVP, twice as their Most Dedicated Male Athlete of the Year, twice as the Mack Club Leadership Scholarship Award winner, and once as the Grizzlies' Most Inspirational Male Athlete of the Year. Mark Benton was one of the best track athletes that I've ever been around in my 42 years of coaching track and field. Unbelievable work ethic, probably one of the true sportsmen of track and field at McMinnville High School. Every day in practice, we didn't have to say one thing to Mark. He took on the practice. He was the leader of the practice each day. Anything that we asked him to do, he was able to do. Benton achieved the district championship in the 1600 meter relay as a freshman, and again as a junior and senior, as well as being the district champion in the 100, 200, and 400 meter relay events both seasons. He was selected onto the all-conference first team for all four of those events in both of his final two years, and onto the Statesman Journal's track and field all-regional first team, and as their male track athlete of the year in 2001. 
he uh, did not lose a league dual meet race his junior and senior year. He actually became known for in our coaching staff as automatic because we knew that he was going to win no matter where we put him in the race. But perhaps his greatest achievement came that year, in his junior season, when he ran the anchor leg of the 1600 meter relay team that won the state championship. This was the greatest race that I've ever seen in, in track and field. Marcus came out of the first turn and settled into fourth place and just bided his time until he got into the curve on the last turn and he blew the entire competition away and actually won by a second and a half and that is still our school record at 321.74 and uh, I've never seen a race like this in my entire time at McMinnville High School. As a senior, Mark led the boys to a district championship while the Bears won 79% of their meets during his illustrious career. Benton was honored as the Pac-9's Conference Senior Male Scholar Athlete of the Year, the MAC Chamber of Commerce's Most Outstanding Male Athlete of the Year, and by the U.S. Army with their Senior Male Scholar Athlete of the Year Award. He still holds three all-time school records in the 100 meter with 10.84 seconds, the 200 meter with 21.64 seconds, and the 1600 meter with three minutes and 21.74 seconds, cementing his reputation as one of the best male track and field athletes McMinnville High School has ever had. Following his graduation in 2002, Mark received a flood of scholarship offers to sprint for multiple Division I universities, but he eventually chose the University of Oregon in Eugene due to their strong tradition of winning and excellence. He lettered as a freshman, and performed very well in several events like the 400 and 1600 meters, but ultimately had to make the difficult decision of retiring from the sport in order to fully focus on his education. And in 2007, he achieved his degree in Family and Human Services. He worked in the Eugene area for five years as a mental health specialist and drug and alcohol counselor, realizing a lifelong goal and passion for helping others. In 2014, he completed his nursing degree from OHSU and currently works as an RN at the Good Samaritan Hospital in Albany. He has remained active in athletics by competing in various races and has even become a semi-professional mountain bike racer who is sponsored by regional clubs. Continuing his childhood passion and adding to the multifaceted resume of one of the most versatile athletes McMinnville High School has ever seen.